Drop it. What's up YouTube, Hunter here, and today I'm going to show you how to use your PS3 controller on your Android device. Now, first thing first, you're going to need to be rooted. So, just click the annotation right around here to learn how to get rooted, and come back to this video once you're done. So, if you're already rooted already, you're just going to go to your Play Store and download 6-axis compatibility checker. So it'll look like something like this when you first start it up, and we're just going to hit start. So it'll ask us for a super user request, and I'm just going to grant it for this time only. So now I'm just going to allow it, and it's, it'll tell us now that it actually works. So, as long as this part actually works, we can figure out it works. So we just hit stop up here, not the help button, but stop. And we're going to go to the 6-axis app. So this is about $5 on the App Store. There's other ways of getting it, obviously, but I don't want to tell you all about that. Well, actually, it, I'll leave an annotation on here to get free apps. That's how I got this, because I'm too cheap to buy it. But, so, now all we have to do is hit Start. So, it'll obviously ask us to input super user information, but what we're going to look for is this local Bluetooth address down here. So as you can see, here's my local Bluetooth address. So next I'm going to join you on the computer. If, we're actually, if you're actually on, if you don't have a computer with you and you, just, and you have an on-the-go cable in your PS3 controller, obviously then just click the little fast-forward button right around here, and it'll take you to the part you need to be to watch. But if you're, if you need to use a computer for this because you don't have an on-the-go cable or it, it doesn't work for you, then just follow along with this part. So yeah. See you on a second, guys. Bye. Okay, YouTube. So if you go on the link below in the description, you'll go to the link that is the download for the six x six axis pair tool now this is only works on windows sorry for all you mac users you're just gonna have to follow along with the on the go cable tutorial which will be in a couple of minutes on this video so you just download it and you just run it so you plug your ps3 controller in and so here's where we do all the stuff for it so right here we can see current master it'll be something weird it actually right now has the bluetooth code that i asked you to memorize so all we have to do is type in the bluetooth code and we'll hit update. So I'm just gonna type that in real quick and I'll get back with y'all. Bye. Okay YouTube, so this is the part where if, you're, if you just do the part on the computer or you're actually gonna use an OTG cable, this is the part where it's generic for both y'all. So we're just gonna unlock our device and go into the app. So if you're using an OTG cable, you connect your actual sync cable that you get to actually charge your PS3 controller while you're doing that and you plug it into the OTG cable. Then from the OTG cable, it should go straight into your phone. So now we're just going to hit start if it's not already clicked, and it's going to tell us that Bluetooth will be disabled, and we're just going to hit OK. So next we're just going to turn it on and hit pair up here. Okay, and as you can see, it'll actually turn on the player one button up here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but player one button's turned on. So next we're going to go, we're going to move the controller out of the way, actually, because don't, we don't need it for the second. So we're just going to click this change IME. So you won't see 6-axis controller right here for default, so you just go to setup input methods. Now, it'll be unchecked, so I'm just going to uncheck it, and we just check it. So it's saying, hey, this can be a keylogger and all that, which is not really, and all that, so we just hit OK. So now we just hit the back button, and we click change IME again. So now we just click the part where it says 6-axis controller, and if we get our PS3 over here, we can now control the... Thing. So, in the video tomorrow, I'm going to tell you how to actually set this up for gaming and stuff like that. I use it on Dead Trigger 2 in Minecraft. It works actually pretty nice. So, I'm just going to show you how to do that tomorrow. So, make sure to stay subscribed if you're not. So, yeah, see you on the next video, guys. Bye.